Hey you guys, welcome to Sipples World. Today I bake my family a delicious moist red velvet cake, but I want to dedicate this first slice of this cake to one of our subscribers, there go her name, Charika Houston. And if I'm not saying that correctly, I apologize. So you guys, I hope you guys are having a great day and please enjoy this wonderful video. And Charika, this first slice of cake is dedicated to you. towns over I probably go once a month and um, this store has everything everything and it's like a big country store so um, they it sell things for like your if you have a farm or a barn fencing um, horse um, things cow cow things <laughs> Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's a it's a great store. It is a great store, and um, Kite and I are heading that way now. So I'm excited because every time I go to the store, I always pick up a good bit of things. So I'm gonna go to the store, come back home, and when I get home. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. So hopefully they have a lot of good things. Hopefully they got stuff that I like. Most of the time they do. And I love country stores. I just I just really do. I mean, they have houses, stuff for chickens, um, human things, <laughs> uh, clothes, shoes, home decor, heaters. Do, do you guys remember those kerosene heaters? They have those. They have everything everything and you never know what they're gonna have for instance say say if you see something you like and you say well i'm gonna wait till next time to get it you shouldn't do that because nine times out of ten it's probably gonna be gone this is a store that people come from different towns different places to shop so um and this store gets big crowds so yeah so that's one reason why i'm heading there early and I got a full day ahead, a busy schedule. So I want to get out early. I got up about maybe six o'clock, you know, and um, my boys, they've had breakfast. They are, they are off to school except for Kai. Because when I get back to the house, we're going to start his, we're going to do his lesson plans, which he already know what he's going to do today. So he's going to finish up that while I put up the groceries. And then when I get done, we're gonna go over his work. So that's how we're gonna do that because I homeschool him. 
And he's my helper today, so he's in the back. He's gonna help me. So yeah, you guys. How did you guys rest last night? I hope you rested well. I really do. And I'm so glad to see you guys. I'm so glad to see you. We had, well, I definitely slept well. It was a great night. You know, I feel so blessed. Aren't we blessed? Aren't we blessed? We are so blessed, aren't we guys? We really are. And it's so easy to take for granted the small things like running water in your house, a commode, you know, that warm, I mean, that heat, that air conditioner, heat. I mean, just, it's so good to have these things that we take for granted every day. You know, my warm bed, my warm covers. I mean, oh, but when I get in my bed and just get comfortable, I'm, I'm out like a light. I'm out like a light. I mean, but I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful to have these things because when you don't have them, like if your power go out, you have a power shortage, you'd be like, darn, I miss this, I miss that. That's why I'm glad we're on the subject because that's why you need to make sure you have backup things. You know, even from solar, they have all kind of solar flashlights, solar radios. I have this one radio, it's a, called a weather radio. And if, I mean, you can charge it up, but if you don't have power, you can crank it up and it still works. So that is so neat. So make sure you guys think about things like that if you don't have power. You know, if you don't have water, do you have backup? So make sure you guys, Remember that, you know, we don't don't live in a bubble. Don't live in a bubble. You know, if you can't stay in your home or something happened, do you have like camping equipment? You know, do you have things um, ready for if you got to go outside. If you have an emergency, do you have some backpacks packed up? saw a school bus and I thought this is a four lane road you know it's, it was over there on the left you know the people behind there on that side they stopped but I keep going and I did right because all the cars behind me are still going so I don't feel like I broke the law <laughs> I did good you got to know those bus school um school bus rules it's important you know but yeah so we was talking about making sure you just have things or, you know, if you don't have power, if you don't have running water, you know, something happened in your home, just remember those things. It's just you need to have backup. You know, when you go to the store, just pick up extra things here and there. You know, just, you know, think of be smart. Be smart. So, you guys, I, I probably got about maybe 15 more minutes until I get there. And it's pretty foggy this morning, so I'm gonna stop talking to you guys and focus because I am, I mean, I live in South Carolina, but I'm going further into the country. So, you know, you have to be careful about those deers and since it's fog, you know, I wanna make sure I'm paying attention. So you guys, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you are watching Civil World videos. We're so thankful for you guys, and I pray that you guys are doing well, you know, and I pray that you guys don't give up, keep pushing, no matter what. It may seem hard, it may seem tough, the storm you're going through, but remember, it's just for short term. It's not long term, remember that. Learn something from that, grow from that experience, you know, use it. So when you go through that next storm, you'll have on your armor, You'll be ready to go. You'll be you having your sword on. You know, you'll be ready to go. So, um, I'll see you guys in a little bit, okay? Mwah. Okay, you guys. I am back from the bargain store um, from Williamston, South Carolina. And I did get a good bit of groceries. I, unfortunately, you guys, I'm not going to do a haul. It is a lot of stuff. So, I have a big pile over here. And then I have a pile over here of stuff. 